Hi, I'm Cody. And I'm Kelly. And we are at beautiful Crystal Prong Creek at one of our favorite campsites, and we're gonna show you the inner working of the Odin tent. Let's go. The most important thing you need when you go camping is a tent. What we have here is an Alps Mountaineering six-person tent. We also have a tarp that we put below it as a moisture barrier. If you've never set up a tent before, we have a vlog that describes how to set up a tent and the main purpose for this uh, tarp below. We will put that in the description of this vlog. So Cody said we have a six person tent. The reason we have a six person tent, once we go inside here and show you what we have, you're gonna realize why we have it. So let's get started. As you walk in, you see we have two cots. So before we get into the cots, let me talk about this. You need sleeping bags. And normally we don't even sleep in the sleeping bags. We unzip them and use them as a comforter. Next, we have this light that looks like it's been on this entire time. Or maybe not. Okay. We have a light here that is also a fan, which is really helpful when you're camping in the south in the summertime. This really does put off a lot of wind and it holds two D batteries up in the top here. And at one point in time, we had two of these. <laughs> one point in that way, one point in this way. It really is helpful. So now you're wondering, what do we sleep on? Well, I said earlier, a cot. There's many different things you can sleep on. We have just found that the cots are the most comfortable. We did start out with an air mattress and it gets super cold at night. It's just not ideal. Um, you could sleep on the ground on a pad. Uh, I would prefer that if I'm backpacking or kayak camping, but if we are gonna be weekend camping or camping for a couple of weeks, we like cots. So let me show you. These are um, just your regular plain old cot, like this. They fold up really nicely in a bag that looks like this. So they store easily in the back of your truck. I take our pillows from our bed and we have separate sheets. So we have two basically twin bed sheets. We have a fitted sheet, we have a um, flat sheet, and underneath the sheets we have these, um, I guess you would call them egg crate foam bedding pads. But guys, let me tell you, this is so comfortable. And there's nothing like having a good night's sleep, waking up and you feel rested, refreshed, and your body's not aching from sleeping on the ground. So let's dig right into that. And don't judge me on these foam things. They're, they're not that old, but for some reason they turn colors. I guess maybe from the humidity and sweat. But we have, so my bed's special because I have three and Cody only gets two. <laughs> But basically, I just buy like a king size and I cut them in half and just throw them on here. Whenever we get ready to go, we just fold them over this way, roll them up, put a rope around them, and store them in the truck. So, it's very comfortable and I highly recommend, if you're going to be camping long term, that this is what you need to do. So, I store all of our bedding in this big tote. This is a Ziploc brand tote. I got it at Target. I'm sure you can find them anywhere in like the foil Ziploc bag section. But it's big enough that it holds our sheets. We have extra blankets for in the uh, winter, fall, spring when it's pretty chilly at night. So I just store everything in this easily totable. All right, these are ready to go in the truck. We also carry a small broom and dustpan mainly because um, I like to keep things neat and tidy. So at the end, after we have put everything up, I just sweep all this up and sweep it out. Chairs. We like to bring these larger chairs where we have the room in the truck versus those little ones that we uh, took kayak camping. Got these at Walmart. Ozark Trail, really good chairs, sturdy, spacious, and cup holders, because you don't realize how often you need a place to set something like a water bottle a GoPro camera or keys. anything else, keys. So when you're not camping at a marked campground, they usually have picnic tables. We always bring this table right here. It came from Academy. We actually kind of need a new one. This has been used quite a bit. They do have them at Walmart. My next purchase is gonna be from there. Um, but this is just where I cook and prep and uh, do all that. We also have a full Coleman cooker. This came from Walmart as well. And all of my camping dishes, in the tub here. If you are interested in the camp kitchen setup, I have a blog for that and we'll post that in the description below. 
Also, we like to carry an ice chest. We actually have a plethora of ice chests at home. This one is vintage. This is from the 80s, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this is what we carry for one-nighters. We have a larger ice chest when we do two nights or a week or two weeks. And then we also have the kayak camping ice chest. Also, when you're camping, sometimes you don't have enough light. So what we have here are these little single lights. I think they're triple A's. And we got these off of Amazon for $5? 11, I $11. think. $11. Yeah. And they come with four. And they're LED, and we'll just string them across the rope, which leads us to the next thing that's important. Cordage. You always want to bring cordage camping. We actually have two of these. Uh, I think we got these at Walmart. Mm -hmm. And it was in a massive roll. You could just unroll it and cut it off where you wanted to and melt it on the end so it wouldn't fray any longer. And we usually just do a normal little trucker's hitch because we don't want to put nails in the trees. So we'll just do a knot and use these for hanging towels, clothes, anything you need to dry, and of course, these lights. Two things that we feel are very important that we always bring with us, and if we forget them, it's a very sad moment because we actually need these tools, is a hatchet because out here, you want to be able to break apart some of the wood to shrink up and put on a fire. The other is a shovel. What's the shovel for, you ask? Using the bathroom. You gotta be able to use the bathroom, so you gotta dig a three inch hole, and that's what we use this shovel for. And we clean it, don't worry, it's always cleaned afterwards. Another important accessory that you need is a headlamp. This is useful when it's dark and you're looking for firewood. I had it upside down. And uh, also, if you're just trying to see anything at night, this is very important. I believe I got these at Walmart. Okay, so Cody was talking about the shovel. Another thing I want to add to that is I always bring toilet paper and wet wipes because those are good to, if you can't shower, you can clean your armpits. Those are just good all around something to have uh, when you're camping. But I believe that wraps it up. Yeah, that's everything for us. Yeah. Um, I know it's a little excessive when it comes to the bedding stuff, but I promise you, if you don't like camping because it's uncomfortable, I think you need to check that out. We can break up or set up and break down our, our whole entire camp in about in, 15 minutes. I would say less than 10. Less than 10 minutes. Yeah. And of course, we do it all the time, so we have it down to We a have part. a system. So. So. But yeah, um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. And hit that notification bell and we will catch you on the other.